Hi guys, uh, my hello all my fellow hobbits out there. Uh, it's Tolkien Reading Day, March 25th, which is coincides with the fall of Mordor at the end of the books. Um, try to pick a piece that might speak to everyone with everything that's going on. Okay, this is from the Two Towers and the chapter the stairs of Kirith Ungol and Sam and Frodo are making their way towards getting into Mordor I don't like anything here at all said Frodo step or stone breath or bone earth air and water all seem accursed but so our path is laid yes that's so said Sam and we shouldn't be here at all if we'd know more about it before we started. But I suppose it's often that way. The brave things in the old tales and songs, Mr. Frodo. Adventures, as I used to call them. I used to think that they were things the wonderful folk of the stories went out and looked for because they wanted them. Because they were exciting and life was a bit dull. A kind of a sport, you might say. But that's not the way of it with the tales that really mattered or the ones that stay in the mind. Folks seem to have just been landed in them. Usually, their paths were laid that way, as you put it. But I expect they had lots of chances, like us, of turning back, only they didn't. And if they had, we shouldn't know, because they'd have been forgotten. We hear about those as just went on, and not at all to a good end, mind you, at least not to what folk inside of a story, and not outside of it, call a good end. You know, coming home and finding things all right, they're not quite the same, like old Mr. Bilbo. But those aren't always the best tales to hear, though they may be the best tales to get landed in. I wonder what sort of tale we've fallen into. I wonder, said Frodo, but I don't know. And that's the way of a real tale. Take any one that you're fond of. You may know or guess what kind of tale it is. Happy ending or sad ending, but the people in it don't know, and you don't want them to.